right, good morning, any of y'all guests. I want you to listen to this song. We're going to get right into our worship in just a second. Let's shoot about another 30 seconds to get some more people on. Send hearts up, thumbs up. If you don't mind, share the page. Too far. 
into the word. God is the joy woo, mm, and the strength of my life. Removes all pain. Y'all, come on now. And misery and strife. He promised to keep me. Yes, he did. Never leave me. Oh. Never, never fall short of his word. I got to fast and pray. Yes, I do. Stay never weak. Mm. I keep my life clean. Yes, every day. Mm. I want to go with him when he come back. I come too far and I never turn back. God is, I wish I had some help. God is, God is, yes he is. God is, God is my. Watch this in your life 
and in the church. In your life and in the church. So number one, we dealt with the, the meaning of stewardship. Number two, we dealt with the purpose. And then the third component that we try to look at is the problem. <laughs> we understand the meaning, we understand the purpose, but what is the problem based on Malachi chapter 3 in the text? The problem here, my brothers and sisters, is when we looked at it, is the Israelites was cursed with a curse. They was cursed with a curse. In other words, God had, uh, uh, God had withheld um, blessings from them. And we talked about that last week. My brothers and how the rain was withheld from them because of their sin and how the earth did not bring, watch this, forth usual increases uh, as normal. Without that, they went without food. They was, there was a lack of food all in the land because their blessings was cursed. And we looked at that word cursed and we discovered, my brothers and sisters, that it separates the picture that God is withholding your blessings. That you're it's almost like if you're about to order something on Amazon or whatever website you go to, you're ready to order, and then they tell you it's on, watch, it's on back order. I wish I had some help in here. Somebody put that in the chat. It's on back order. And whenever you allow, whenever God starts putting your blessings on black back, Order. When God starts withholding your blessing, then we come short of the blessings of God. And I asked the question last week, and I'm going to ask this same question this morning. Are you the reason your blessings are cursed? Are you the reason that your blessings are withheld? Are you the reason that your blessings are put on back hold? Oh, I wish I had some help. So number one, we dealt with the meaning of of um, stewardship. We looked at the purpose, my brothers and sisters, and we looked at the problem. And then the fourth thing that we looked at was the principle. About through, we looked at the principle. Why do the principle? Because you got to understand the principle right here from Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, it gives us the principle. And tithing is one of the most important principles taught in the Bible. We stated that last week. Tithing is one of the most, watch this, most, it is one of the most important principles taught in the Bible. Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, watch this, listen to this, it, it said, bring all the tithes into the storehouse. And, and we have forgotten that God has commanded us to put him first. Somebody ought to type in the chat, first. God demanded that we put him first, including our finances. We try to define that word tithe. Let me get to you once again. Tithe, watch this, simply means a tenth. The word tithe equals ten. I wish I had some help. Not five, not, not six, not eight, but it, it means ten. And he wants your tithe to be, watch this, to be the first fruit of your increase, your tithe. He, God wants that, not second. I wish I had some help. Once again, not third, not fourth, not on down the line, but he wants to be first. And I want to tell you, tithing requires faith. Because sometimes you just don't have. And faith got to step in and realize that you're trusting God with what you got. I wish I had some help. You trust in God. And the question I asked before we ended last week, my brothers and sisters, I asked the question, Hopefully after you and y'all receive your 2021 contribution statements, hopefully you went home and you can honestly answer the question now, are you giving a 10? That's it. Are you giving a 10? And somebody, somebody, wherever you at right now, whether you are part of any y'all, part of another church, whatever, the question applies to you today. Are you giving a 10? Back to where your membership is at. I wish I had some help in here. Are you giving a 10? So I don't want to deal with the handout from last week because you're at home. You're not going to pull it out. You're comfortable. Some of you still in the bed. Some of you laying on the couch. Wherever you may be. I want to deal with the handout next time we, we are together in person. All right? Watch this. We'll deal with that the next time. But today, I want to focus on Malachi chapter 3 on one particular verse that I want to look at as a way of standing in line with, watch this, with stewardship. I want to preach from Malachi chapter 3, and 
I want to look at verse 6 today. Verse 6. Verse 6. If you give me about 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Verse number 6. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Verse 6. Somebody put that in the chat. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Listen to what it says. For I am the what? The Lord. I am the Lord. I what? Change not. Listen to it again. I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. Listen to what it said. It said, but I am the Lord. I change not. Therefore, the ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. You're not consumed. And so if I had to use for something this morning, for the time that we have this morning, for the 15 minutes that we have this morning, if I had to use for a subject this morning, my brothers and sisters, to stay in line with stewardship, I'll use for a subject, God does not change. Oh, somebody put that in the chat. God does not change. Somebody put that in the chat. Now, come on, send hearts up. God does not change. God does not change. We, you and I, we change, but God does not change. I'm reminded of this story a long time ago. I, I, I heard it and it came back to my mind as I was preparing for this message dealing with stewardship. That was a man that had called it to uh, his church. The secretary answered the phone and she said, Hello, such such Baptist Church, da 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 da. And uh, the, the guy that had called in, he said, Can I speak to the head hog in charge? Uh, she, she said, Hello. He said, yeah, I, I want to speak to the head hog in charge. And she thought she had heard right, but she, she asked the question. She said, I'm sorry, but would you like to speak with the pastor? And, um, and, and then the caller said, no, I want to speak to the head hog in charge. How oh, y'all? <laughs> and so what happened, the, the secretary said, well, um, if, if you mean the preacher or if you mean the pastor, uh, then um, are you really referring to him? Because why should she said, I prefer you not to call him out of his name as, as the head hog. And so the man waited. He said, well, um, uh, well, I was calling, uh, young lady, because I was planning on giving $100,000 to the building fund. And at that time, the secretary responded real quick. She said, hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think the big fat hog just walked in. <laughs> she said, I think it just walked in. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, look at today and put on the chat, God never changed. Mm -hmm. And see, we, we change just like with the weather. We change in, with stocks. We change in our finances. We change in our relationship. We change in on our jobs. We change in the church. But the good news today, that God never changed. So I guess I dropped this in your lap too. You can call me whatever you want to call it. If you want to plant that seed of that hundred thousand um, dollars, somebody put it in the chat. Dollar sign, Vincent Derrick. But I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But listen, God never changed, and I'm afraid today, my brother and sister. I'm afraid that the church, yeah, has got a black eye because many times we teach tithes and offering the wrong way, and because we teach it the wrong way, it leaves a bitter taste in many people's mouth because they feel like I don't have, and every time you turn around, they asking for this, they asking for this. And so today, my brothers and sisters, we're going to deal with God does not change. That's something I need, well, all of us need to do because this stewardship series is so important, and if we're going to deal with God never change, that's a word we need to look at today. And that word, my brother and sister, is right here. And I intentionally put it this way, where it's kind of like not clear to see. But the word is, allow me to change it. Now watch this. The word is refocus. Oh my goodness. If we're going to deal with God never changes, if we're going to deal with this subject today, the first thing we're going to deal with, dealing with the stewardship, dealing with this passage is refocus. We have to re. Focus, because my brother and sister, how we view God determines everything else about us. How we view God determines everything 
about us. If we consider, if we consider God as being serious, as important, we will give, watch this, and we will live a life accordingly. But, teach it, Lord, if we see God as time trying to take out of us, take from us, and take from us, then I'm afraid that we will give only to appease his anger. So not only that, my brother and sister, if, here's another one right here, if we don't see God, if we don't see or think much of God at all, guess what? We won't give. We won't support the ministry. We won't do this. We won't do this. We won't put time in the ministry. We won't use the talent, the gift that God has given. And we won't give the tokens back to God as he has blessed us. If we don't see him and take God serious. Oh. So listen once again what the verse said. It said, and the Lord do not change. So you, O oh, descendants of Jacob, this one translation right here, are destroyed. And God at this time, when he's speaking in Malachi, teaching us, he is speaking what is known, watch this, in the first person. I think I'm going to teach this morning. Because the word Lord in this text right here, it literally means who is. Teach it, God. Teach it, God. He who is. That's what it means when he used the word Lord. He who is. And it refers to the unchangeableness. Oh, I feel like teaching right here. Of God. And the next part of that same verse right here, it says the Lord do not change. I'm about to, I'm about to be through that word. He do not change. That word, those two words, not change in the text means that God can be counted on. So you, you may not can count on me all the time. You may not can count on your loved ones all the time. You may not can count on the church all the time. You may not can count on your job all the time, your children, and whatever it may be, but you can count on God, not sometimes, but all the time. And he is one constant person. Yes, he is. He's constant. He, watch this, we can count on him while everything else in the world changes. God does not change. And if we're going to deal with this, and because I'm able to use the screen today, even just because I'm able to do the PowerPoint like a, like a light teaching by, as a visual aid, I want to give us what I call a working definition about how God does not change. Let's look at this working definition right here. God does not and cannot change in his basic character. That's a definition. I know, I know, I know. God does not Watch this. Listen to it. And cannot change in his basic character. Cannot. Nothing that God has ever snouted, nothing that God has ever said about himself can be modified, can be changed, can be altered. God has said it remains the same. Let me say this. I don't care what the prophets, I don't care what the apostles, I don't care what the disciples all have said. Watch well, this. God does not change. You cannot, watch this, you cannot rescind what God has said. You cannot change what God has said. You cannot cancel what God has said. You cannot void, I feel like teaching what God has said. You cannot squash what God has said, all that God is, he has always been. I feel like teaching that. What God, watch this, all that God is, has, he, watch this, he has always been. Let me say that again. All that God is, he has always been. I'm about through. It's about 11 minutes in here since we've been on. Let me see, can I get about six more minutes and I'll get you on back to your time so you can stay warm and everything. All that God is, he has always been. And all that he has been and is, he will ever be. So it is. A little short time that we have this morning. We don't have an apostle died and the roll the keys for me. So I got to roll them. In my own mind. Yeah, I got to roll as though I can hear him 
playing the keys, but I can't stay long. But I did want to tell you, God does not change. And so it is, my brothers and sisters, someone asking, is pastor finishing up early this morning? Well, the answer is yes. And the truth of the matter is that word always that God used in the text, my brothers and sisters, expresses the truth about God. For God, God is always wise. So I'm not going to take the word always in there. And God is always sovereign. Type those words always if you don't mind. And God is, he's always faithful. Send odds up real quick. And God is always just. All that preach to us. And God is, yeah, he's always holy. And God is, mm, yeah, always loving. And, and what God, whatever God said, mm, you can always depend on it. Yeah, I'm glad today that we don't have, we do not have to change what God has said. Yeah, because he is the same God there. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. Mm -hmm. Come and stand you in First Samuel chapter 15, yeah, and verse 29, yeah. I can hear mm -hmm, Samuel saying that he who is the glory, yeah, of Israel does not lie mm -hmm, or does not change his mind, yeah, but he is not a man that should change his mind. Come in, James, I heard, yeah, James said in James chapter 1, yeah, in verse 17, James said, every good, yeah, and perfect gift, yeah, is from above eh, and coming down eh, from the Father of heaven. Eh, and I heard eh, James said, eh, and does eh, not change eh, like the shifting shadows. Eh, and I want somebody to know this morning eh, if you become eh, a good steward eh, and let God eh, use you. Eh, as a good steward, uh, you too, uh, God can use. Uh, and I got to leave you now, uh, because God uh, want to do great things uh, in all of our lives. Uh, be a good steward. Uh, give what he is back to him. Uh, be a good steward uh, and use your talents. Uh, be a good steward uh, and use good time. Uh, God uh, have not changed. He did not change and will not change. Did not change through all the 66 books of the Bible. He did not change out of all the 1,189 chapters, 31,103 verses, 807,000 369 some words. He still not, still have not changed. And good morning, and young. Yeah. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. Now, but I made up in my mind. For God, I live. Yeah. For God, I die. Preach, God. Somebody this morning, you need to depend on the Lord. You tried tried everybody, but I dare you this morning to try God. Won't he do it? Send hearts up. If you tried them before, won't he do it? I said, won't he do it? Won't he make a way out of no way? I wish I had some help. Won't he do it? Somebody say, who is he? He is the same one that died for your sin. Who is he, God? 
God. He's the same one that marched up Karen's heel that for your sin and my sin. Who is he? He's the same one that woke you up early this morning, started you on your way. God never changed. He cannot, he will not change. Let's be good stewards of what the Lord has blessed us to have. That same text. When we read it, my brothers and sisters, it talks about how God could have destroyed the Israelites. But because he did not change, he spared their life. Can I tell you, he spared our life today. And if he changed, or if he changed, we wouldn't be here. My brothers and sisters, I pray something was said this morning. On this virtual Sunday for Antioch and those who have followed us, we pray that something has been said that we refocus and do what God wants us to do. God is a God that cannot and will not lie. Well, my brother and sister, I pray that you had a great day with the word. I got to go. It's cold. I know you cold. You stay warm, stay safe. Let's bow our head right where we are. Eternal God, we thank you right now for your word. We pray, Father God, something has been said to help your people to change lives, to set someone free, to save right now. And Lord, as we come before you, we ask that the covenant of your son's blood continue to be with us. Keep us and protect us. If there's one that do not know you, Lord, they will get the chance to know you by simply repeating words such as, Lord, save me. Cleanse me from all my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that God raised the Son of God from the dead. You said if I confess it with my mouth, believe it in my heart, I shall be saved. Someone have received salvation today. Come on, send hearts up, thumbs up right where you're at as we get ready to end for today. We'll be back in person next Sunday. Any of y'all, those in the surrounding area, we'll be back in person next Sunday at the 10 o'clock hour. Facebook, YouTube, thank you all so much for always following us each week as we get ready to give back to the Lord uh, by way of tithes and offering. Those who are virtual and you'd like to do it today, you can do it by using the church um, push pay, and that is Antioch Clem on push pay. You can do your tithes and offering through that. Also do the love offering to the pastor if you so desire. Or if you just want to make sure you bring it with you next Sunday, you can do that. If you want to drop it by the church, 2930 Newman Road, you have that option as well. And those who want to plant a, a love offering into the pastor's life or as one of your ministers, if you could so desire, you can do that through uh, the cash app. And that is the dollar sign Vincent Gerardort. Dollar sign Vincent Gerardort, if you so desire. All right. Let's close out with prayer um, for the offering and then the benediction. And you all have a blessed, blessed day, and you all stay safe. Eternal God, we thank you right now for those who are giving, those who are planting seeds into the ministry. Let them not come short of anything. We pray, Father God, for that person that just do not have, that you will open up the heavens, windows, and give them a blessing like never before, that they'll be able to give back, first of all, to you, Lord. And that you would just have allow the increase to take place in their life. And Lord, we ask that you cover us throughout this week. No hurt, harm, and anger will come upon us. And all that we do, Lord, you get the glory and the honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's children did say, Amen. All right, you all have a blessed, blessed day. Stay safe. Um, Alabama State is representing you all today. <laughs> God bless you all. Um, let's get ready to leave. Uh, send hearts up, thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself today. God bless you once again. And we'll see you all next week, okay? Next week. Um, once again, stay safe. We're still in a pandemic, but hopefully and prayerfully things will start easing down to some type of little normalcy. But in the meantime, you continue to practice being safe. All right? Now to him who is able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before the throne of grace. Be unto him dominion, majesty, and power. Now, henceforth, and forevermore. And all of God's children did say, Amen. All right, to be continued next week and the weeks to come, 
dealing with stewardship. All right. God bless you all. You all have a blessed day. Let's get out of here. Y'all get out of that bed. Y'all can't stay in that bed all day. Stay on that couch all day. Come on. I believe I run on. Lord, see what a theme will be. I believe I run on. Lord, see what a theme will be. I believe I run on.